So in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about some of the weather forecasts we're going to be working with in this week's lab. And these websites often change their format and their where you find everything on them. So I just want to take a minute for this semester to let you know where to find things. So here's our weather channel 10 day forecast. And currently the way it's set up is when you go to this link, it's got the first day sort of expanded. I want you to go ahead and close that off and just look at the major information here listed for all 10 days. So you've got the date, you've got the high and low temperatures, you've got a little bit about the sky conditions or the expected conditions over the day, you've got your precipitation potential, so like 20% chance of rain. You've got wind speed and direction. And this last arrow over here is to expand to see the more information. But in terms of the information you need for this week's lab, this view will give you what you need to know. For the National Weather Service forecast, and this is the hourly weather forecast, so it's a different type of forecast. You've got your weather elements listed over here. And sometimes they change the name, but it currently says weather elements. And it has these things that are being marked off. Now it also has precipitation and it's got a few other things. The weather elements is one thing that you need to focus on. Then you're going to scroll down. And on this particular one, it shows the different categories in different little graphs here. So for example, the heat index is shown in this kind of gold color. And for what I'm looking at right now, they kind of overlap. Then you've got the dew point shown in green and the actual temperature shown in red. And the next map shows gust and surface wind, relative humidity, precipitation potential, sky cover, etc. Now if you're colorblind or if you're just having a little bit of a hard time telling the points, you can scroll down here to the bottom. As you move your cursor across the times, you'll see this information down here at the bottom change. So if I wanted to go at 10 a.m. today, I can go ahead and put my mouse there. But down here on the bottom, it actually gives me the numerical values for each of those individual values. And I can do that for any particular time and use the information shown down here at the bottom if you're having a hard time reading the graphs course when it comes to things like the highest and lowest temperature it's still easiest to pick that up off the graph in order to figure out where is it the lowest or the highest and you'll need to make sure when you take your screenshot that it's showing these three sections that includes the temperature the precipitation potential and the sky cover so I'm going to be able to grade you on that if you have any questions about using these forecasts let me know